Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and as you can see I'm the kind of guy that likes to keep things organized. In my collection everything is based on console and then alphabetical. Okay, I have the exception with the rare games but everything is organized. Because if you have a lot of stuff it's so hard to keep track of things. I used to keep track of my collection with an Excel file and a folder with pictures but that's a whole lot of work and that's not easy on the go plus you can't show it to anyone. And I found something really cool which helps me to keep track of my collection and also show it to other people and it kind of has a social platform in it as well. The app is called Boxes. It's available now on iOS but it will be available on Android and PC later and in this video I want to show you guys how it works and how it helps me to keep track of my collection. So in the description of the video you can find a download link or a code that you can use to link yourself to me. So your boxes will be linked to mine. So check it out and start using it if you want to have something cool for your collection like I have. What this app does, let me show you guys, is it helps keep track of my collection but it also has a social platform that uh, lets people ask things about my collection and also helps me to discover new things. So let's run through the app. As you can see here, this is the main screen that has, uh, it's like your timeline. These are the last few items that I've been adding to my collection and also some stuff from people that I've been following uh, their collections. Like this guy is collecting comics. I like comics, so I'm really curious to see what he has new. Um, then here you can see the search option and this search option uh, lets you just search stuff. Uh, for instance, if I want to see Spider-Man stuff, I just look for Spider-Man. But if I want to just browse video gaming, I click video gaming and I see what other people have been uploading in the video games category. And I'm seeing a couple of games here, for instance, this Mario and Donkey Kong, the mini Mies. I don't have that. So that's a nice thing to know that it's something I should add to my collection, like this really cool Zelda DS here in the bottom. Uh, it's quite a coincidence, but this top one, the Chrono Trigger, is a picture of my collection. So the next tab we have is for me the most important one because this is my collection tab. You can make a box for pretty much everything you want and I made a box for every console that I have. And as you can see there's about 400 items in there now so I'm like 10% of complete. But it really helps me organize my collection and show people my collection. Um, let's go to PC where I have a lot of stuff. I have a big PC collection as you guys know and it really helps me if I'm at a convention or a flea market to see well do I have this certain Command and Conquer game because as you can see here I have three different Command and Conquers in there yet um, but I always forget do I have that expansion for Command and Conquer the original one? Yeah I do. I have the covert operations. As you can see, there's also a heart there, and that shows how many people liked this item. Like on Facebook or on Twitter, uh, you can show people that you like a certain item. And you can also leave a comment, as you can see here with the little bubble. And it asks, this, this is a guy that follows me, and he asked, how many games do I have? Well, I answered him, and that's how you get like social interaction on your collection. This is all optional, by the way. If you don't want people to see your collection, you can make it private. But as you know, I like showing my stuff, talking about video games, and this really uh, yeah, gives, a, it gives a cool opportunity to talk to new people about, the, about games. But the most important thing for me is uh, keeping a catalog of my games, knowing what I have, and uh, always having a reference, for instance, for PlayStation 2, which I also have a lot of, and kind of keep forgetting if I have a certain game, and this really helps me to... Um, to keep track of what I have. So the cool thing is that you also can buy and sell items. Personally I'm not selling anything, this is just to uh, keep my collection on track. But if I wanted to sell this certain item, you can just uh, click the item and um, in the settings you can change it and you set, oh sorry, press the wrong button there. You can press the list my item for sale category and instantly it becomes for sale and uh, so you can keep track of things and say, ah, well, I'm done with this game. I can put it up for sale and other people can see it and buy it if they want. So that's a really cool, uh, also social kind of way to, uh, to manage your collection. Then the next tab, that's, this, that's your social tab. You can see what people did. So these people liked my stuff or asked a question. And you can also see what the people that you are following did. 
uh, he added something, uh, this guy added something. Then the last tab that's important is uh, your profile, because that's what other people see. You can also watch this on the website, uh, which is box.es, so boxes with a dot after the box, and it has an overview of my collection, a nice little header photo I have there, and you can see I already have nearly eight, 500 followers. So that's, uh, that's really cool. It's going really fast because I've been using this for about a week now. Um, another nice thing is that you can share this app with your friends and it lets you earn cash to, um, yeah, to use on uh, buying items here. And you can even make money by, um, by uh, selling items. And if you guys want to start using this app, please use my code, the one you can see here, 6PSZS. Because if you do, we're instantly linked, we're friends, you follow me, I follow you, and I also get a little bonus for adding you up. So this is the Boxes app, and I must say I really love it. So last thing I want to show you guys is how you can add a certain item. You see the plus here, top side, and when I press the plus, the camera enables. I put a little... Uh, game up here to show you guys. Let me p make a good photo. There we go. So Chrono Trigger for the DS isn't in my collection yet. I can use a filter, but personally I'm not a filter guy. So done. Next. So this item is Chrono Trigger. There we have it. It's going to be in the box DS. And I can write a description if I want, limited edition, sealed, uh, whatever I want. You can list it for sale, you can add a location, you can add private details like uh, when did you buy it, your uh, receipt for uh, warranty information, etc. You save it, uh, the photo gets uploaded to your collection, it takes a couple of seconds, and there we have it. You can share your item on Facebook and Twitter if you like, and now Chrono Trigger is in my collection and other people can see this. And this is the way you can uh, make pictures of your new stuff. But if you're a guy like me that has already a big load of pictures of everything in his collection, you can just press the buttons that I'm pressing now, scroll to the game, because these are all added already. Let's see what was next here, the Sonic CD. I was there. So adding a Sonic CD, no filter, only one photo for this Sonic CD, but you can add up to 10 photos of a certain item. Sonic CD, oh, made a typo there. Sonic, come on. Sonic, yeah, CD. It's a PC game, as you see. And in the description, I'm gonna add that it's sealed. There we go. So, this is it, save, and it's uploading the game. And now Sonic CD is in my collection. So if I'm wondering, did I have this game? I can just check the PC box and see, yeah, there it is. Or if I wanna show something, hey, someone hey man look at this really cool sonic game i can just open the app and show them so that was the boxes app and i must say i've always been a user of uh, excel files to keep track of my collection but this app it really helps me to uh, keep it social keep it fun that's also important but um, always have your collection on the go always have it up to date because if i buy something new i don't have to make a picture open my list uh, put the picture in the right folder on my computer, uh, put the picture from my uh, phone on the computer, etc., etc., etc. I just take the app, make a photo, um, put it in the right box, and that's it. So, uh, as I said, I'm really happy user of this app, and uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I found it. So, if you want, guys want to start using it as well, please use my code, the one I showed you earlier. I will also put a code uh, in the video, so you can click there. I have my own download link, and uh, if you have any questions or any comments, just feel free to contact me. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.